the Kalahari Desert, South Africa. Here, the native sod bushmen hold elaborate fireside rituals lasting for hours into the night. During these ceremonies, their shamans perform what's known as a trance dance, through which they reach an altered state of being and access other dimensions. The trance dance is thought to activate an energy in their body called Noom. And this energy opens a portal of sorts that enables them to travel into the spirit world. And when the Bushmen activate this energy, they're able to put their hands in the fire without being burned. They can see vast distances, and it's as if in every way, shape, and form, they're transformed into super powerful beings. By accessing the power of Noom energy, it is believed that a shaman who can extract illness, see the insides of the sick, and travel out of their own body to the land of the gods. This Noom goes up the body and then often it goes out of the crown of the head and that's usually when the out of body experience occurs and they travel to the spirit world. I've seen a Bushman put a coal in his mouth and he wasn't burnt. They put their heads in the fire, and although their hair might singe and even catch fire, their face won't be burnt. So something is happening with this num energy. They call it boiling energy. It's almost like there's a vibrational change in their whole body and probably in their DNA in some way. Could the so-called num energy really be inherent in shamans, accessed only while in a sort of dream state? And is it possible that the genetic makeup of these medicine men is what allows them to access other dimensions. The San Bush people have a tradition that they are the first tribe ever created. They're the oldest people in the world. DNA tests have shown that they probably are, that all other cultures and all of the peoples that spread throughout the world came originally from where the San people are now. When we look at the San Bushmen and we see the clear genetic evidence that they are the primordial seed of human civilization and life on Earth, it is possible that their DNA is especially well equipped to have this potential to access these non-ordinary states of consciousness, which may in fact be a key to physically journeying into them. Giving these people the ability to do things that most of us seemingly cannot. 